I am so excited. Is this Gwen Stefani? Hi, how are you? I am rocking, and then, then I'm talking to you. I'm excited, too, because you're like my grand finale of the day. Like, this <sighs> has been like the, the marathon, like, talk about myself morning. <laughs> like, crazy, but it's such an exciting time because we're going to be going on tour. Okay, so let's just take a deep breath. <laughs> Let's get to the meat and potatoes quickly. Okay. Atlanta, June 5th. Tickets go on sale Saturday. When I read this about the tour, I I was blown away, and I'm dying to know how you got the idea for it. Download your whole catalog? I know. It's so modern, huh? Tom, actually, our guitar player, kind of came up with the idea, and we had to, like, ask the record company and blah, blah, blah. And I I didn't really think it was going to come together, and it did. And it's just such a great exciting thing for us. There might be a lot of people that maybe, you know, came to the Sweet Escape tour, the little girls, it's like their first concert. They don't even really know the No Doubt song, so it's a great way for them to get the songs and get ready for the show. And also, it's just cool to be able to, like, do something like that and and give something away. I love that. I love that. I'm buying a ticket immediately. Meanwhile, I already have your catalog, so. Oh. (laughs) I'll have it twice, Gwen. Uh, The last time you guys were in town, as no doubt, if I remember correctly, it was at Turner Field and you were opening for the Rolling Stones. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about that like a couple of days ago. You know what was crazy about that show was it was it was like a stadium, wasn't it? Yes, Turner like, and, Field. And it was huge. And that stage, I mean, I don't know how he does that show every night. I literally ran from one side to the other and I couldn't even make it. Like I was and I'm pretty fit once I get on tour. And I just was like, this guy is unbelievable because it is such a such a big area to like, you know, kind of control that whole their stage that they have. But that was good fun. I can't believe we actually did that. It opened for the Rolling Stones. You did a few dates for the, for them. Yeah, it was it was cool. It was really fun. Oh, the guys were just so friendly and really like out of their way to be so nice to us, which is really great. Well, maybe they were hitting on you just a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, your your kids are adorable. Obviously, I know you, you, they're in the paparazzi, but. Um, Not like I know you personally, even though that would be awesome. Uh, I wonder, I saw this one photograph of you, and you were in the park, and you were wearing these stiletto heels, and as a mom, how do you do that, Gwen? You know, it's so funny because people see things on the Internet all the time, like, and they don't realize the whole thing. Like, maybe I was coming from, like, somewhere where I was wearing heels and, like, meeting Kingston there, or, you know what I mean? Like, I would never go to the park in heels, but... Anyway, <laughs> to play. But, um, yeah, no, the whole high heel thing is really painful after you have kids. You notice that? Like, yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it's, like, impossible to hold, like, a 20-pound baby and wear heels, but somehow somehow you manage it. But you do it with grace, <laughs> I mean, always. And your heels, they they get so high, they're unbelievable. If you're going to wear high ones, you might as well, you know, wear the really high ones. Do you still do your own makeup? I do, yeah. I mean, I don't always do it. Like, you know, if I do, like, you know, photo shoot or TV show, then I'll have someone come. But um, I really enjoy doing it. I do it for my tour, for sure. I really enjoy the process. If you if your purse is sitting right next to you, how many lipsticks are in there? <laughs> you know what's funny about that? I always have, like, lipsticks. And, like, I have all these different diaper bags sitting around, and they always have to have, like, a little bit of lipstick. Like, just <laughs> in case, you know, like, sites like wipe me in the face <laughs> so there's so if you there's a color you like you buy five of them yeah i mean i just wear all different kinds of red lipstick it doesn't everyone always asks me about that i should definitely put my own lipstick. you should come out with your own lipstick i totally buy it i totally need to do that the no doubt is a little bit of a departure from your solo stuff so the audience at the No Doubt shows is going to be a little bit of a mixture, don't you think? Yeah, we were just trying to figure that out. Like, who's it going to be? Because, I mean, I'm hoping that some of those adorable girls that came to my show um, on the Sweet Escape Tour will be there because it was just such a really rewarding show for me, that Sweet Escape Tour, because it was this audience was like girls that it's like their first concert. You could tell, like, they're all dressed up. They got their makeup on. They're eight years old. And then, like, they're a very cool mom. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. And then everybody in between. And there's just, like, moments that I would literally just feel so honored, you know, because the audience was so cool. And I remember it being like that with, no doubt, like, kind of during the Don't Speak kind of era. Like, it was, like, a really broad audience as well. It's just, it's just really rewarding, like, to see that your music could, like, touch that many people. And 
again, like the whole point of this tour is that like that, like seeing that, because when you're in your own life and you're not touring, you don't really, it doesn't feel real any of it. Sure. But when you're touring and you just, it really hits you and it's very powerful, like that, all that energy you're getting from the audience. And so I'm hoping I'm going to feed that right back into an album. And that's really the whole purpose of doing the tour, besides just having fun. So there's a new album in the works, and I read that you decided to just go ahead and do the tour and let the record come afterwards. Yeah, because, well, the whole plan, I don't know if I what I've said so far, I'm kind of starting to get dizzy mm-hmm. talking about myself. I understand. Morning. But um, I think that, you know, like I, the plan was to come off Sweet Escape Tour, get pregnant, then like make the no doubt record pregnant but i couldn't do it like i was so sick and like hungry and like tired and just couldn't get the music just wasn't coming out so then i was like okay after i have the baby i'll get working on again and i really put lots of time into it and really feeling very kind of like non-committal to anything musically that i've done so that's like why i'm like let's do this right now we're going to go on tour this is going to get me totally like point in the right direction for the record and inspired and you know we're a live band like that's what we've always been like that's the you know the chemistry of us four on stage is um it's just undeniable and i think that that's just what we need to like get to the next phase i mean songwriting is really a journey and it's very it's not something you can just turn on and off and press a button and a song comes out it's like i'm just trying to find it i'm like come on it's all up to these guys to come out and get me inspired so i can make the record i'm desperate come on (laughs) well i'm (laughs) sure being on the road this summer will get the juices flowing i do too do you know that chris rock worked you guys into his comedy routine this year i do i i saw him at some charity thing and he told me that i was in his show and i'm like whoa oh really (laughs) Like, ah, so I actually went out to see the show and I was just like swarming in my seat because everyone that he was talking about in the show, they were just getting torn apart. I was like, oh, I was like, great. But then he did the the whole thing. The whole skit, and it was hilarious. Oh, you had to love that. Just yeah, talk- it was weird, like, to be sitting in the audience and, like, having him going on and on about the Don't Speak song. <laughs> that was really... And just the girl and all that. Yeah, I mean, that must have been surprising to know that, you know, he wasn't your textbook fan of No Doubt and Gwen Stefani. Well, um, I've known him for a kind of a while like i'm just seeing him out at parties and stuff um, i'm going to see britney spears tonight oh wow I, uh is that something that you'd be excited for i i would i mean to be honest kingston really wants to see her he's like a big fan and um <laughs> she lives on our street for a long time so i'm really happy for her that she's out there doing the tour it's going to be um i'm sure she's gonna make a lot of people happy yeah well we're looking forward to that but mostly we're looking forward to no doubt this is the coolest thing ever i'm so glad to see you're back with the band it's really been such a pleasure talking to you and we will be at your show in atlanta on june 5th at lakewood we won't dress up like you so don't get scared (laughs) (laughs) but gwen stefani it's been a real pleasure you are just um nicer than than ever oh thanks so much good to talk to you guys and thanks for all the support